Respect presents album covers. 2014 Forest Hills Drive is J. Cole's childhood home. In 2003, the home was foreclosed, but earlier this year, Cole repurchased it and it is now featured on the cover of his latest album. So we're three albums deep within J. Cole's discography. No single released. He wanted you to listen to this album straight through. But before we get to that, let's address this Fire Squad track. Same thing that my nigga Elvis did with rock and roll. Justin Timberlake, Eminem, and then Mac Lamo. While silly niggas argue over who gon' snatch the cramp. Look around, my nigga, white people have snatched the sound. This year I'll probably go to the awards, dap a damn. Watch Iggy win the Grammy as I try to crack a smile. I'm just playing. But all good jokes contain true shit. This speaks to the conservative hip hop head who uses phrases like culture vultures, referring to white people who have quote unquote invaded the culture. Listen, Iggy won two AMAs recently and everyone lost their shit. One for favorite hip hop album and the other for favorite hip hop artist. Both over Eminem and Drake, but pay close attention to the wording. Favorite, not outstanding, not exceptional or the best, just the most likable. Now, now, now just last year, Year, Cole sat down with BT.com and speculated as to whether the light color of his skin was the main reason for his success. I think Cole's commentary on Fire Squad is a simple observation, meaning the pure intent was to state something and not dissect it and add his personal feeling and knock it off with the diss stuff. Based on his BT comments, he's pretty objective on this issue. If he's willing to question himself with regard to his place due to his color, he sounds pretty reasonable. And Cole was born in Germany. His mother's German. He's technically a foreigner just like Iggy and it's barely a shot at M considering the fact that M made that same Elvis comparison over 10 years ago. We've seen artists take different approaches towards the marketing of their albums. Beyonce's visual album which came out of nowhere. Jay-Z's Samsung deal. Gambino's screenplay of his album. Wu-Tang's one copy album on the fucking edge of the earth. Not, Not releasing a single used to be dangerous. It was difficult for the consumer to assess risk without a song to sample. We here are a part of the core percentage that would have listened to the album with a single or not. But what about everybody else? The single used to be a statement on the big screen. In case you weren't sold on an artist, it was that pivotal point that could make or break a connection. And with only one album going platinum this year, and it's not hip-hop, musicians have to find different methods to beat the defeated album sales. But Cole's tactic makes Forest Hills Drive a conversation piece at best. Outside of his classic mixtapes, I'd have to say that this album is the best of all Jay's commercial efforts. In in closing, hip-hop belongs to no one. When you create art, it takes on a life of its own. It's colorless, shapeless, prepared to adapt to the will of any individual, black or white, as long as they dare to be inspired by it.